This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show. And today's show is special. We'd like you to meet four Starcade champions. First, here's Jonah Coleman. Here's Mike Russo. Here's Mike McEwen. Marcelo Hasper. These are our four champions, and here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, Kevin. Hi, and welcome to an extra special edition of Starcade. Now, this is our very first invitational championship show, and it's also a day when we're featuring a fabulous new video arcade game. So it is a very special day, and we're glad you could join us for it. Our players today are four Starcaders who've already won on previous shows. They're all champions, and they're all going to play a brand new game never before seen on Starcade to see who's going to win our grand prize, which today is... A trip to Hawaii. So, Starcade, it's really good to have you guys back. Now, uh, before the show, as you know, we matched you up at random to see who would be the opponents in today's two matches. The winner of each round will go on to play each other for the championship. So, Kevin, if you would, tell us who our first two players are. Jeff, our first two players are Marcelo <laughs> and Jonah. Okay, well, that means that Mike and Mike, you guys go off stage. We'll be back with you in a little while to see you play the second match. See you later. All right. Jonah and Marcella, you're our first two players. Shake hands. Get ready to play Starcade. Head over to the podiums. And while they head over there, Kevin, tell us what other thing makes this Starcade so special today. Jeff, as you said before, we have only one game on the show today, Dragon's Lair. And it's the first game of a brand new video game technology. Jeff? Okay, thank you very much. Now, Jonah and Marcelo, right now, to start things off, uh, we're going to show you the playing field of a video game on our Name the Game board. The first one to buzz in and identify it correctly will play first and automatically win a bonus of 250 points added to a score. So if you're ready, take a look to the right and name this game. Marcelo. Oh. Time, Marcelo. Took too long to come up with it. It's Arabian, and Jonah automatically. You get yourself 250 points, and you'll be the first one to play Dragon's Lair. You set for that? I uh, hope so. All right, let's let Kevin explain it to us. Kev? The Dragon's Lair adventure begins in an enchanted castle in a far distant time, and Dirk the Daring is on a quest to rescue the fair princess Daphne, held captive by a fierce dragon. Okay, now, uh, of course, uh, uh, Jonah and, and the rest of you are uh, pretty sharp as far as this game goes, but for those of you who haven't seen Dragon's Lair, what Jonah's going to look for is flashes of light to tell him which direction to put uh, Dirk the Daring, which direction to head him. He'll control decisions Dirk makes with his joystick, forward and back, sideways. Also, he'll have the sword button, and uh, he'll also look to see which side of, the, the, uh, of Dirk his sword is on, because that's the side danger usually comes from. You ready to go? Yeah. All right. We wish you good luck with Dragon's Lair. You'll have uh, 30 seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. There's the castle. Thanks at all. Nice play. Okay, Jonah heads back. Marcelo comes down. Now, because this game is set up the way it is with random screens, we may see different things. We may see the same things. I hope so. You hope we see the same thing? No, different. That doesn't score that many points. Aha, uh -huh. there are different ways to score points, huh? Yeah, the uh, one that has the um, ropes going around mm -hmm. is the one that has more points. Well, let's see what happens to you, Marcelo. You'll have 30 seconds also. Ready? Get set. Play. Oh, 
seconds. Same screen so far. Same screen, but he rode a little slower, I think. Yeah, this must be first. Okay, Marcelo, we're gonna be back in a minute to play more Dragon's Lair. Don't miss it right here on the Star Gate in the The runner-up finalist on today's Starcade Invitational will receive ColecoVision, the home video arcade system with effects just like in the arcade. Your vision is our vision. ColecoVision from Coleco. And for the grand prize winner, it's a week stay for two at the luxurious Hawaiian Regent Hotel on the scenic side of Waikiki Beach near Diamond Head. Fine Hawaiian service furnished by the Hawaiian Regent Hotel. And you'll fly there on Pacific East Air, the bargain alternative to Hawaii. In-flight games and prizes, full meal and beverage service, fly in roomy and comfortable super DCA jets, Pacific East Air to Hawaii, and as a special gift from Starcade, a roll of quarters to use in the arcade over there. <laughs> and now back to Starcade with Jeff Edwards. Oh, that sounds great. A trip to Hawaii. The Hawaiian region, mm, something, and then you love the quarters too. Well, Marcello, you got to work for him. We're back, and uh, let's see, let's uh, meet our players a little bit. Jonah, uh, tell me about you last time on Starcade. What happened to you? Well, uh, I beat the person I was playing uh, on all the bonus rounds, and Whoa. I won Swimmer Arcade Game. Terrific. Well, we're delighted to have you back here. And Marcello, I remember you. You did pretty well when you were here too, didn't you? Yes, I got lucky, and I got Star Trek. Ah. Okay. Good game. Great game. And, of course, the game we're playing today, it's an old Dragon's Lair show, and it is a wonderful game. There's still another Dragon's Lair to be played, and the total points scored on both games will determine who goes on to play for the championship. So we'll go to the Name the Game board. Now, in the first Name the Game, we are awarded a bonus of 250 points for identifying the game correctly. This time, we're going to give 350 points, and that could be very important, as you both have seen. So Jonah and Marcello, take a look at the Name the Game board. And name this game. Jonah. Journey. Journey is right. 350 points to you. And you get to play Dragon's Lair again. Kevin, do you have something to say to us? Jeff, I always have something to say. The Enchanted Castle is a strange and magical place, but Dirk the Daring does not waver in his quest. He encounters every peril with no thought of hurt. Okay, let's see if we find some different screens this time. Get ready. Get set, play. Now he's got the lines. Fifteen seconds. To the horse. Whoa. Faster, don't you? Yeah. I <laughs> know it. Okay. Head on back, Jonah Marcello. Come on down. Well, he got the vines that time, and I suppose you hope you get him too this time. I sure hope so. Okay, we have 30 seconds. Turn around. Get ready. Get set. Play. If you had the chance to play Dragon's Lair twice, we'll total up the scores in both games to see which one of you goes on to the final competition at the end of the show. Of course, remember, Jonah got 250 points and then 350 points for the name of the game board, and that may make the difference. Let's see. The total score for Jonah, 10,322 for Marcello. 
10,009. Jonas got it. The difference was the name of the game board plus you find players. Marcelo, that means we have to say goodbye to you and uh, sorry to do that. You're a fine player, but we do have a nice gift for you, Kevin. It's a collector's library of records from the company that brings all the great recordings together in this grand collection. From the country sounds to the top 40 hits, they're all together from KTEL, the music leader. And Jonah, you're going to get a chance to play again for a trip to Hawaii. We'll see you in a little bit, and we'll be back in a moment to meet our next... <laughs> and now, our next two players on the Starcade Invitational, Mike Russo... And Mike McEwen. And here's Jeff Edwards. All right, gentlemen. Nice to have you back here on the show. Mike, how you doing? Yeah. Mike, how you doing? Great. That's great. Uh, tell me, what happened to you last time you were on the show, uh, Mike? Well, I beat my opponent by with Journey, I think mm -hmm. it was. And I got Munchmobile. Oh, you got the Munchmobile. Boy, that's, I have a difficult time with that game. What, what about you, Mike? I beat my opponent on Donkey Kong and won Popeye. Boy, both of you then, really good players. I, I never do this, but I have a feeling about today's game, I have the feeling the winner is, uh, is going to be Mike. Okay. <laughs> as, as far as this goes. You know, of course, that all our players today selected Dragon's Lair as the game that they want to play, so we'll get right to the name of the game board to see who goes first. I might add that whoever names the game correctly automatically wins 250 bonus points. So take a look at the board and name this game. Uh, Mike on my left. <laughs> Kicks. Kicks. Kicks is right. Wow! You got 250 points automatically. And Kevin will take us over to the game. Kev? During his Dragon's Lair quest, the daring dirt knows the fierce giddy goons who would have him for lunch and the crypt creeps who would bury him alive in the castle's dungeon. All right, Mike Russo, if you're all set, you'll have 30 seconds to try to get Dirk the Daring to his goal. Of course, you won't reach the goal, but you want to score some points, so are ready to go? Yep. Here we go. Get ready, get set, play. <laughs> 20 seconds. To the horse. Okay, he had to jump to the window and he uh, and he got the horse. Let's see what happens to you. You ready to go? Yeah. Here we go. 30 seconds. Get ready. Get set. Play. They call him Dirk the Daring, but when we see him a little later on in the 60 minutes go through those rapids, he goes, woo, woo. <laughs> he doesn't look so daring. There's still one more game to be played, and as you know, the, title, the total high score on both games goes on to the finals to play for our grand prize, a trip to Hawaii. So once again, we hit the, na the name of the game, and this time a bonus of 350 points. Could be very important because you're very close competitors. Let's take a look at the name of the game board. Name this game. Mike Russo. Time. Jeez. Okay, Mike McCune, you don't have to say a thing. Automatically, you get yourself 350 points. And I will tell you that the game was Reactor. So, Mike McCune, you'll be the first to play, and Kevin will tell us a little bit more about Dragon's Lair. Dirk the Daring encounters many perils throughout the Dragon's Lair. Some are more fierce than others, but all bearing his way to the Dragon's Lair and the Princess. Okay, Mike, on our special Dragon's Lair show, you ready to go again? Yes. Again, 30 seconds. Turn around, get ready, get set, play. Go now. To the horse. Oh. 
Mike Russo. Well, he's not making it easy on you, Michael. No. Uh -uh. All right, here we go. Back again to the Dragon's Lair. Let's see how you do. 30 seconds. Ready? Get set. Play. for a trip to Hawaii. Both of you, excellent players, but uh, we're going to find out now which of you is going to do it, Mike Russo or Mike McEwen. So the grand total for Mike Russo is 7,852. And Mike McEwen, you have 6,786. Mike Russo, you've got it. Well, it couldn't be much closer. We have to say goodbye to you, Michael, but we're not going to let one of our champions go home empty-handed. Kevin, what do you have for Michael? It's the Beamscope 2. It doubles the size of your TV screen and makes playing video games twice as much fun. Exceptional color, installs without tools, and it's affordably priced from Beamscope International Marketing Services, Incorporated. And Mike Russo, you're the champ, and you're going to have a chance to play Jonah for that wonderful trip to Hawaii right after the Some of our contestants and some members of the studio audience will receive Trigger Command, the joystick making America trigger happy, comfort, pistol grip, and trigger action, the thumbless approach to higher scores, the Trigger Command joystick from Electra Concepts, and three brand new games for the VIC-20 by Tronix, Scorpion, Deadly Skies, and Gold Fever, fast action, complex strategy, superior sound, and multiple levels of play by Tronix. And now, it's time to find out who's number one on today's Starcade Invitational. We started with four players. Only two remain. Mike Russo and Jonah Coleman. Each has eliminated their opponents and earned the right to play the final round for the championship. And here's Jeff Edwards. Okay, Mike and Jonah, special show today, all Dragon's Lair. So once again, you're going to play Dragon's Lair. I wish you both good luck. This time, we're going to give you 60 seconds to show us what you can do, so we'll see some more screens. Should be a lot of fun. During the commercial break, uh, we flipped a coin, and Mike won. So, Mike, what are you going to do? Are you going to go first or second? First. You'll go first, all right. That means Jonah will be second. And while we get ready to play Dragon's Lair, we'll ask Kevin to tell us about it. This is it, the last chance for our players to help the daring Dirk save the beautiful Princess Daphne trapped inside the Dragon's Lair. Okay, Mike, if you're ready, you'll have 60 seconds. Get the highest score you can, because at stake right now is a trip to Hawaii. You all set? Yep. All right, here we go. 60 seconds. Ready? Get set. Play. <laughs> Seconds playing great. What's that look on your face mean? Well, you've got a high scoring level. Yeah. Which, 
Well, that's the, that's the luck of the game. Maybe you'll get the same level. I hope so, Jonah. I hope. Okay, here we go. Good luck to you. Ready? Get set. Play. Starcade is a JM production.